Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer, the owner of Vegas at VIPServices.com. And I'm standing here today, guys, in front of the Venetian. And right across the street over here, guys, that's the Mirage. Okay, might be the last chance to get to see the Mirage. It's actually going to be changing over to the Hard Rock. I'm sure that sign's going to be coming down soon. You're going to see a big guitar hotel over there. But uh, this video is not about that. This video is about Tau Beach, which is up top behind me here. I don't know. That's a Venetian kind of see over here. Uh, that up there by the Palazzo sign, that is where Tau Beach is, up on the rooftop. So it's a rooftop pool party. And uh, it's lit, okay? This is the second season now, and I wanted to do an update video because it did change the names of some of the sections. So this video is gonna be all about Tau Beach and Tau Beach bottle service, and um, I'll go over a few of the details when you're coming into this place so you understand how it all works and you don't have issues at the door. Uh, first thing I do wanna say is make sure you don't bring any backpacks here, guys. They don't allow them at this pool party. Some pools kinda are a little bit looser, but this one is not loose, okay? It's a big pain in the neck. You're gonna have to go to the bell desk, check it in. They're not gonna let you even bring it in. They do have lockers upstairs, but there are for like small stuff like a clutch purse or maybe like some sunscreen or a hat or something like that you want to put in the lockers and they are pretty expensive they do change the pricing of the lockers by day based on you know the dj say it's a lesso saturday here a big day the dj is gonna drive the price of the lockers up okay because there's gonna be higher demand so they raise the prices all right so that's how it works for the lockers now as far as guest list and stuff goes they do have a guest list here and tickets we got some photo bombers in the background and uh, I would recommend maybe getting tickets on like a Saturday on probably Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. The other days that they're open, uh, probably the guest list is just fine. Generally, they'll have like free admission for ladies and maybe for reduced for guys or even free with even ratio. If you got the same amount of guys and girls, you can get in for free uh, if you come up here on the guest list. You can hit me up for that. I do have connections for that. I don't personally deal with the guest list. I do sell tickets. I have a link for that, but I don't uh, do deal with the guest list. But I have a guy that I work with that does, so we kind of trade some guest lists for tables, etc. So... Now, as far as the tables go, uh, they did change the table names, okay, so I wanted to shoot this video to give everyone an update. Uh, last year, they had the uh, the jungle cabanas are now called bungalows, okay? Those are basically the cabanas with the pools in front of them. Those are now called the bungalows, so those are going to be the highest price tables. Uh, the next level down, they, the, the name of those is still the same. Those are going to be called the temple cabanas, okay? Those are the same thing as the jungle cabanas, or I guess the bungalows now, but they don't have the pools in front of them, okay? So they're nice. They just don't have a pool in front of them. Uh, there's only four of them, uh, maybe five of them, actually. There's, I think there's five of them. Them, maybe six. I think they count that one on the other side now as, as a six one. Uh, but there's six of those, and uh, the jungle cabanas or the bungalows now uh, with the pools in front of them. I believe there's, I want to say like six on the one side, and then another three and three. So I think there's 11 or 12 of them. I think there's 12 of them. All right, so uh, the next stage down, uh, they used to be called the Temple uh, Cabanas, all right, but they just they changed the name of them. They're not really cabanas. They're more like lounge tables with an awning over the top, and I think they had a lot of complaints last year. People thought they were getting a cabana, and they're not actually cabanas. So now they call it the 10D Lounge. So the 10D Lounge is the old Temple Cabanas, and uh, they're basically just a lounge couch with a covering over it. Um, they're pretty nice. I mean, they're reasonably priced, and you get some, some cover from the sun, which is always nice, and they're on the one end of the pool. Uh, kind of they take over the one area in front of the bar so uh, good, good good tables but not as nice as of course the uh, the um, the lotus cabanas or the bungalows all right the next stage down is you're going to be your prime day beds you have day beds kind of all around the pool area on the pool deck those are going to be the best ones uh, they're kind of small maybe six people tops is good for those uh, but they are in a good location and a lot of action okay then below that you're going to find your day beds those are going to be spread throughout the pool a little bit further back from the dj um, kind of up some up by the uh, tendy lounge or some day beds as well and uh, those are going to be good for you know six to eight maybe even ten people if you got girls and whatnot uh, there are some bigger day beds and whatnot if you got a bigger group just let me know I can request one of the bigger ones um, and then there's also the terrace tables the terrace tables are spread uh, kind of up one level up from the main pool deck there are a couple terrace tables on the pool deck uh, just a few those are gonna be like your more higher end terrace tables usually require a tip to get one of those so we could do that or you can just take one of the ones on the next level up. And uh, it's basically just a bench seat with a table in front of it, place to hang out, call your home for the day. And uh, they're pretty nice, reasonably priced. Uh, you know, like Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays are very reasonably priced, like 250 minimum, 500 minimum. Saturdays, even even I saw recently on a less so Saturday, 1,000 minimum, not bad. Now on bigger days when it's gonna be a packed house, you might even see those terrace tables up, up as high as 2K, okay? Now the DJ lineup over here at Tau Beach, uh, they got a nice uh, roster with the Tau group. Uh, Alesso's kind of their big headliner on Saturdays. They try to put them on a lot of Saturdays. They do have guys like Chris Lake, uh, Sophie Tucker, and um, they do bring in like some hip hop guys like on um, Sundays. I know they lost Tyga this year to the win group, but uh, they have like Little John, and they'll be bringing in like maybe like a, 
you know, Ja Rule or something like that on a Sunday to make it kind of like a hip hop Sunday party. It's a good party, okay? They compete head to head with Daylight on Sundays for the hip hop crowd, but it's it's solid here. It's a nice mixed crowd, and uh, they do play quite a bit of hip hop, and it's a good party. It's a good vibe. Uh, Tal Beach is solid for that. Uh, Thursdays is around office it's a Thursday party. It's pretty good. It's probably the best Thursday in the city. Although Thursdays aren't that great overall, but it is the best Thursday out of all the Thursdays that are open. Uh, they do compete with Wet Republic and uh, Liquid on Thursdays, and that's about it. Stadium swim maybe, but uh, this is going to be the best one. Fridays, they kind of compete with everybody. They're doing kind of a mix of DJs and stuff. I noticed on a Friday coming up here, they got Daru, a uh, pretty good DJ. Mid-level guys. So their Fridays, they are putting some DJs on that day to keep their, you know, the vibe alive on Fridays. And then Saturdays is going to be their big day and Sundays their hip-hop party. Okay, so good good, good pool party. Um, any day that they're open, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, it is good here. Okay, it's a fun party. It's a nice vibe. The way it's laid out, they have a nice sound system. Uh, they, it, it's kind of a kind of a big oval, if you will, and the, the vibe is good. Okay, it's not too spread out. Uh, they know how to kind of condense the party if it's not a full house. So that one area of the, you know, the venue is really good. Um, you know, we did get a kind of a slow start to this season because of the weather it's been I'm standing out here today at the end of March and it's like 55 degrees so barely able to wear shorts <laughs> but uh, hopefully uh, you know warms up a little bit I'm sure season number two for Tom Beach is going to be pretty darn good uh, we do have a lot of different uh, packages and whatnot if you guys want to combine this with like a brunch you want to get limo service to and from we have that and then of course we can you know add other stuff if you want to do one of the 24 hour gentlemen's clubs after this place we can set that up as well uh, they'll, they'll even pick you up over here and whatnot so uh, make sure you hit me up if you have any questions about Tom Beach my number 773-459-8133 that's my cell phone and um if you like this content, you want me to keep bringing it to you, I would appreciate a like on the video, and do subscribe to this channel for more, and uh, bang that notification bell. I'm Brian Pfeiffer, signing out here from uh, Tau Beach with the siren going on in my background. A little siren going on in my background. I look forward to working with you out here in Las Vegas. Talk soon. Bye.